here in the loser's bracket, win or go home. They're just trying to play tomorrow and have an opportunity. It's still a long road when you're over here on the loser's bracket, but there are some Madden Magic. We'll kick it off once again for the final time here in Pizza Hut Stadium on a Saturday. We'll be back tomorrow with so many great matchups, and we will crown a champion. If you're just tuning in, Scott Cole along with RG. Madden champion Drini is with us as well, and Fancy's going to start with it first. You like having the ball first, or you want to play D? Uh, as a defensive player, you definitely want to get that stop first. It'll, you know, it'll make your opponent really play aggressive on defense, and it's going to cause them to play, make mistakes on defense. So, you know, getting that stop in the first possession is huge in a game like this. Well, we're looking at the formation substitutions here. I already saw him go into tight eye form. Mm -hmm. Certainly a running formation. Yeah, I, I feel like he's saying those audibles for like when he goes into the goal line. For the most part, he's going to be in trips tight end, just passing the ball. Yeah, you got fancies from McKinney, Texas. And the furthest he's ever made it into a tournament was last year at the Madden 19th Classic. He got 17th place, so this is as, as big as the stage has ever been for him. Yeah. Did you give him a pep talk, Greeny, about how, <laughs> how to deal with some of the pressure, maybe? Now, I didn't give him the pep talk, but, man, playing in front, front of the crowd that like this is going to be tough. Jimmy G gets all kind of pressure on him, but delivers to the outside. That's a first down. If you don't know where McKinney, Texas is, it's just a few miles north of Dallas. You get on the 121, head out to Sam Rayburn Highway out there in Collin County. So he's only about 45 minutes away. Run, play, run, run, From where we're playing, run, if he can run. win tonight, he'll be run sleeping in his own run, bed. Coming back here tomorrow, try to get a dub. Ooh, oh, a little work. stop Ooh. and go. That was a little sticky right there. Trini, I, I got to ask you, what is it with a pass-heavy offense, why go with a team like the 49ers instead of, you know, the Texans, the Patriots, some of those other pass-heavy teams? But what is it about the Niners that a guy like Fancy likes so much? They basically have a lot of speed everywhere, and then you have that route, uh, what do you call it? Um, the re re receiver apprentice. The receiver apprentice where you can add four additional routes to your tight end, and George Kittle has that. So, you know, you can be so much more creative with this offense than any other offense. And that's why he picks the 49ers. And he, like I said, he has a lot of speed out there. He could burn any coverage. Third inches, choke. Quick throw, Goodwin picks up the first down and a little bit more and plus territory of the 46. Yeah, I've seen people all year, they're calling Goodwin baby Tyreek out here. Yeah. He's Fancy like, get, getting him involved early. Like I said, man, his reads are quick. He reads, his user, he reads the user so fast. First and 10. This is a huge ball game for both of our competitors. Joke has been here before. Fancy new to the scene. And we forced out of bounds at the 25 yard line. Four for four, Dreamy, to start the game up here for, for Fancy. Man, I'm telling you, one of the best passes I've seen so far in the tournament. Everybody else running the ball. He's just total different, uh, you know, scheme from everyone else. And you know, you gotta you gotta appreciate what he's doing. Second and ten. First incompletion. That's probably on me. And he'll use a timeout. What's it, what's it like, uh, Drini, to uh, fancy he's going up against a guy like Joke. You know, Joke has a ton of experience. Uh, th do you think that's going to rattle him at all, or, or, or is this the type of moment he thrives in? I feel like Fancy's made it so far, I, I feel like he doesn't care who he's playing now. I think he's in the, he's in the groove. Woo! Look at that guy starting one. it up. He is not shook by anybody. He's ready to play anybody. And here he goes, throwing a touchdown. That's the groove right there. Opening score for Fancy. Right. Seven plays, 82 yards. Biblical RG. It's going to be interesting to see what, what type of defense here Fancy's going to have for this Eagles offense. You know Jokes is going to want to pound this rock. Yeah. I think this is what, the third Niners-Eagles matchup we've, <laughs> we've had in a row to, to close the day here. Yeah. But something to know about know about this offense is it's not really good when you're playing from behind. It's like you want to be ahead and you want to play, you know, control the clock. But when you're behind, you really can't do that. And now you're trying to, you know, you're kind of forced to score seven. I feel like if Fancy could get them down two scores, even ten oh. to nothing. I mean, I think I feel like it would be over. That could be monumental. Yeah. yeah. 
2.18 to go here in the first. I want to welcome you guys in if you're just joining us, coming to you live from the eSports Stadium here in Arlington, Texas. All kind of amazing things going on. Cowboys preseason game, a ton of Texas Ranger games, and of course, Auburn and Oregon Let's go. Let's do it. right there in AT&T Stadium. As far as complexity goes, this is this is sort of your backyard. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, the headquarters is right beside the star, where all the Cowboys players, you know, eat, train. So it's kind of cool. There in Frisco, Texas. Yeah. Wentz fires oh, at Alshon, the former Gamecock. We'll pull it in at the 47 yard line. That's on the other side of the 50. That's a that's a beautiful pass lead right there. I feel like if he passed that up, there would been a pick. He passed that to the right, and you know, it was just a perfect pass lead. And make, made him catch it. That's good insight right there from Drini. Th that pass lead can often be the difference in an interception, a complete pass, an incomplete pass. Yeah. Something we don't talk about a lot, but pass leading is key. Where you're gonna aim those passes with the left stick when you let it rip. Yeah. Oh, man, Stretch to Scott, and he'll that's roll that, to the 43. That's that nasty streak right Seen there. With that that nasty streak. I'm, I'm telling you, if you got that nasty streak, and it's not a D lineman in front of you, that defender's getting put on it, put on the ground. Yeah, it, it kind of limits what formations you can run on defense. You know, you really can't run dollar versus you can't run one for six. You have to run like a three, four, four, three kind of set. Yeah, because any of those defenses that put those linebackers in at those DN positions, yeah. they're going to hit the ground. It's pancake time. Yeah. Well, that's great defense right there, fourth and inches. Ooh, fourth and one. Hurry up. Do you call timeout here if you fancy? Get into your one yard defense. He'll hand it off, Ooh. and he gets the first oh. down, and then he came back a little oh, bit. But he will that's move the chains. That was scary for a moment for Joke. I felt like he was about to shoot the gap, but Joke maneuvered his way around, got the first down. And I, I will say, we, we talked about the Cowboys, how they are the best, you know, a lot of people consider them the best team. They seem to be the meta, but here we are deep in the tournament, and you see it, the Eagles and the Niners, two teams that you wouldn't have expected. Yeah, I mean, it all comes down to how you want to play. You know, if you're going to want to run first, Cowboys, Eagles are the two best teams for that, but passing, you want to use the Patriots, San Francisco, and uh, Texans. So those are the three. Those are like the five teams you're going to see most of most of the tournament. Wentz, all day, just a three-man rush. Carson will get Ooh. out of there. Oh. You better slide. Oh. Seven-yard gain. Look at Fancy. Look at Fancy up jo there. Joke was saying he was trying to slide. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Second and three. Wentz will hand it off to Scott. That'll be near the first down. Going to pin on the spot, and it will be third and inches this time. Once, um, one thing I'm curious about, Drini, from a guy like your perspective, a pro player, when you see the Eagles, you know, get that update and you get all those offense alignment abilities, how much time do you need to spend preparing for a team like this? Oh, it, what, Did I, you hit the lab, get ready for them? You know, personally, I didn't think a lot of people were going to use Eagles, even though I knew about those abilities. I thought they were just going to pick the Cowboys for the most part. But, you know, these Eagles are some, somebody, you know, <laughs> tough to guard. Look at this. Look at the blocking that they're getting. Like, man. In other words, they're catching people off guard with these exactly. Eagles, just like Joke caught Fancy off guard with that touchdown run right there. Not Jordan only Howard, the former Indiana Hoosier. And will not, tie us up. Not only about the offensive line, but the defensive line as well. You have Fletcher Cox with the fear monger. He is going to go crazy when you pass the ball. He's going to get quick pressure, and he's going to disturb the QB, you know, in accurate passes. We've seen Fletcher Cox make a real difference over these last couple games. Yeah, he's got that fear monger. That's his X factor ability, but then his passive abilities, he has under pressure, and probably the most important one of them all, that power specialist. Look at it again. It's a full back dive to the cribbo. Oh, he's so bone hurdling. A little cute little hurdle into the end zone right there. That's a little disrespectful. <laughs> 3.57 to go now. Remember, oh, Fancy started with it first, and now he's going to be on the half yard line. They're going to say the forward progress was at the two Man, when he took the initial hit. He super screamed at him right there. He sent the crib, sent everybody at him. Second and 21. What do you do here, Drini? From personal experience, I do not like him being in tight 
in this type of situation just because, oh, just because you cannot match attack where you can't where, where you can block seven people. That's the biggest thing versus one for six. You need to be able to match attack, make sure that your QB has time in the pocket. But tight, you obviously can't do that, and that's the only reason I wouldn't you know recommend tight that formation. Well, he goes to trips here on third and ten. Got him out of his own shadow of his own end zone. Yeah. You're not passing back there just because of that camera view. It gets, it gets wonky back there, but there's a first down. He's six of seven for 100 yards. Man, going six for seven for, six for seven on joke is really tough to do. Him being one of the best defensive players in this game, you know, I'm, just, I'm, I'm impressed by Fancy. First and 10 now. Garoppolo. Yikes. That 1-4-6 is screaming, and we talked about it. It's tough. They set it up the same way every time. You don't know if that slot cornerback is going to come off the edge from the left, from the right, from both sides. Are they going to drop him in the coverage? It really forces you to make that post-snap read, which isn't too easy. Yeah. Especially against a guy like Joke, who, like Drini said, one of the best defensive players out there on the circuit. Brings Orlando Skandrick down in the box once again. User and Hill here on second and 20 for Joker. Sling it to the outside and Pettis. And Joker. Maybe got two. Joker is totally fine with giving up three yards right there on a second and 20. He just doesn't want to give up 10 plus yards. You know, this is beautiful for him. Jimmy G needs 17 here on third down with 92 seconds to go here in the first half. Garoppolo, there's Kettle. Ooh, and he hit. can't hang on. Late throw. It, lo it looked like he was about to throw it to. I thought he was about to throw it to Goodwin. I thought he had a touchdown, but you know that wasn't a bad pass either. But he got rocked, so you can't really complain about that. One thing we talked about all tournament long, Drini, and, and we talked about it a lot when you're playing because I think you're one of the best on the circuit at it. Is how important it is to quickly click on once that ball's in the air and make those hits or those interceptions yourself. Does anybody know if roughing the punter? is in the game because that was close. <laughs> but uh, to your click on thing, like it really does make the craziest big impact that I've ever seen. Like the CPU will never make like plays that your user can make. And you know, having a good click on is a key to getting a lot of interceptions, a lot of loose balls, a lot of swats. It's it's good for them to hear Drini say it, Scott, because I get the way nervous, it I say it. It doesn't have as much credibility <laughs> as when the champ says it, but it really is the difference and it's been the difference for a long time now, whatever Madden you're playing. Yeah, if you're using coaches' suggestions and playing on the line, that's not competitive Madden. Yeah. You want that skill gap. Yeah, for with, sure. With the user. The same on the offensive side. When you throw it to the receiver, I, I see a lot of people letting computer catch it, and that's just not the way to go. You want a user click on, and then you know put your receiver in the right spot to catch it. So at least choose what catch you're gonna do. Yeah. It's good Never. advice right there from the champ. Appreciate it, RG. Look at that. You're not so bad yourself, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but the blocking is crazy, man. Seven to seven, and you're right. Lane Johnson is just getting after it right now. <laughs> they actually have three abilities. That's the craziest part. And he puts all of them on the same side. So it just makes it tough, you know, to stop the run to the right side. Seen a lot of folks from Elite Madden. Ooh, and that time defense. he does knife his way in there. With a big time hit, that's gonna bring up second and 14. 30 seconds left here in the first half. Right here. Knowing Joke, being being the similar type of player Joke is, he's just gonna try to run the ball and try to get three. Uh, he's not gonna look for a touchdown right here. And, and just to give some perspective real quick before we get to the end of the half, uh, Joke attempts this field goal. Those Eagles have Jason Kelsey, who has the nasty streak and the power blocker ability. Brandon Brooks has post up and pass block elite, which means he's going to be one of the best pass blockers in the game. And then Lane Johnson also with that nasty streak. So you have two guys on that O-line with that nasty streak ability that's going to really help you pound that rock. Yeah. 54 yarder, it's up and it is good. A three point lead here at the half in Arlington, Texas. Scott Cole along with RG, and we are joined by last year's champion who road ended earlier than you wanted it to. Drini, but quite a first half. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, they've been, the joke's been playing how he's been playing the whole tournament. They're just staying with their schemes, you know. It's just a battle of. Pass versus run, who's going to do better? 
Well, it came down to a couple possessions there. Fancy had it twice, but it only could score once, RG. Well, we'll see what happens in this second half. It's a very close ball game, but if I'm fancy, my takeaway is I got to figure out a way to pick up that blitz if I'm going to air it out because I think he took one too many sacks early on. Why well, you got to sit down during halftime? What, what happened here? I didn't get that memo. <laughs> Joke will start with it first to start the second half. I thought you were going to sit down, too. You, you're the one that left I'm me I'm scared. These, ch these chairs are on wheels. I'm man. scared. <laughs> when we get on camera, we sit down as soon as they cut away. <laughs> you, you act like we haven't had a routine here, Cole. <laughs> Don't bluff them. Here comes Joke. Hands it off to Scott once again, and Fancy needs to stop. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to be super hard to stop this, this offensive scheme right here. It's like, you have two blockers on the right, two blockers on the left. It's a completely balanced formation. You don't know where he's going to run it. And look at this. The dive is, oh, my I God. I got a good look idea where stick. he's going to run it. Look Maybe at the all the way Joe. to the crib. Wow. Touchdown, Joe. Wow. Two-score lead. See, now Joke is super comfortable. He's going to be comfortable on defense. He stopped him last possession, and he's going to hey, ride that momentum. 17 unanswered. And it's interesting with these Eagles, they are the top rated team in Madden 20 at 89 overall. They have the best overall team. And one of their weaknesses was they didn't have a lot of speed at halfback as the top five running backs on the depth chart are all under 90 speed. But then they go and find this guy right here, Boston Scott, and he's on his horse. Man, him being 5'6", and he's super fast, it lets him get through the holes that the O-line give him. That's a good point about the 5'6". He, yeah. He's smaller, so it's going to be harder to grab a hold of him. A little MJD. Squeeze, a little squeeze through, through those holes, yep. And there's Garoppolo. Right. Joke is mixing up his defense really well, I'll tell you that much. Second and five. He felt like fancy, even if he could have held him to a field goal there. Yeah. Still would have been a one-score game, but now you got to start working a little quicker. Nice spin. Great spin move there by Coleman. Eight for ten, but those two sacks that he took, that you know, last possession, definitely ruined that drive. But he is dotting when he has the chance to, you know, actually have time in the pocket. 335 left to go here in the third. Remember, this is a loser's bracket. This is an elimination game. Good blitz pick up. And it will go up to a good one. He will chase it down. Inside the red zone, down at the 18. And that's why they call him Baby Reek. How good was that pocket presence, though, by Fancy? Just sidestep, let the blitz get picked up, let it rip with Garoppolo. Yeah. Col Coleman made a Superman block there. I, th I thought he was about to have to make a quick read, but he, sh he shifted right over. There it is again, but oh, man, there's that. Have you met Fletcher Cox? <sighs> Fletcher Cox is super wild on defense, super wild. Second and 18. You I'd don't want to do anything stupid here. I mean, you need at least three. Yeah. Look at that. Perfect read. Jimmy Grappo, 10 for 12, 185 yards. He's doing good on offense. Big third down here, guys. Remember, this isn't two down territory. If Joke's able to get the stop right here, if you fancy, you likely have to take your three to make it one possession ball game. So this is a sleeper third and three right here if you're fancy. You can't take this play lightly. You have to tr really try to pick this one up. Here comes the big dime, one, four, six. Garoppolo looking, firing to the outside. Pettis will help him pick up the first down. Man, that out route is money. He just waits to see if that's a deep third, and he will throw it instantly. So that's going to be a first and goal here at the seven. Now things get real stingy here, Green. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not a fan of Joe coming out in 146 in this situation. Or 236. I think it's 146, but I'm not a fan of it. First and goal. Fancy trailing by 10. Garoppolo oh! nearly threw a pick to Jenkins. It, oh, man. It looked like Fancy wanted his running back coming out of the backfield, but he got caught up man. in a block. If that's not a low throw, that's a pick. Oh, yeah. Sure. Trips to the left. Let's try it again. Tell you, there was no one in that area that the running back was trying to run that streak out of the backfield, but he just got stuck on the blocker. I wonder if that messed with Fancy on that one. Yeah, it probably just messed up his whole, you know, progression on the reads. He just 
felt forced to throw that. Jimmy G once again, oh. Kittle! That's a laser beam. That's a hot one. You have Kittle on the corner route. You can hot route him to it because of the ability. You send the wheel route to that side to put the flat in conflict. You wait for him to play the wheel, and then you just slang it to the corner. That was a real deal read right there from Young Fancy. Yeah, definitely a good route combo. I like it. I... Back to a three-point game once again. If I'm joke right now, you know, I'm pretty pissed that, you know, the, the pass before the touchdown wasn't a pick. You know, you got to get your mind right, and you just got to look, you know, forward to this next possession, and you got to score seven. Uh, uh, you're a guru when it comes to clock management and running the ball. Uh, what's your expectation in this situation, Drina? Are you, is the priority to the score, or is it to pick up just first downs and slowly milk this clock away? What, what oh man. Oh, oh man, God. forget Boston about it, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go throw up. Boston, hey man, Fancy has to learn some run defense. Or it's going to get super easy for Joke. Touch. Down, joke, back to a 10-point lead, just like that. I think Drini called it out, too. I've been focusing on his speed, but him only being five foot six, you see him, he's squeezing through some of those holes that some of these other backs just might not be able to get through. I mean, I mean it's like a little mouse. Yeah. Joined by the Madden 19 champ, Drini, along with our champ, oh, Scott Cole. Oh, 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 but oh, Alley's oh, up for return. Oh, what a and tackle. somehow 41. caught from behind wow. at the 44. Look, Look at this it. run again, though. Whoop. Do you see that? He has Lane Johnson at tight end leading the way, just making sure that he hits a cornerback or a linebacker just so he pancakes him, using that ability to, the, you know, the the most they can. And you know what's funny, Trini, is you know it as much as anyone, forever there was this consensus that O-line didn't matter in competitive play. And here we go now. We're, oh, yeah. we're to the point where guys are picking teams pretty much because of the O-line. Uh, you guys can trust me on this, man. Using the Patriots and using the Cowboys are so totally different on the run game. You know, the, run, the Cowboys hold their blocks so much longer, and, you know, you kind of get shedded when you use the Patriots. So O-line definitely matters. Definitely matters what team you pick. And that's just, that's for sure a myth. Picks up the blitz, oh, shakes know. one off, and then just throws it away. You can't block Fletcher Cox that long. Got to give a huge shout out to Clint Oldenburg and designer Nick Farrer and Mike Scannelberry. They did, they did a good job getting those O linemen to, to really be a factor this year, more, more so than we've seen in the it past. It opened up the team selection for sure here in Rex. Yeah. Yeah, with, with, with no uh, O-line abilities, I really don't feel like anyone will use the Eagles. But after these abilities were in the game, you know, it definitely caused some people to change to them. Garoppolo will throw it to the outside, and Pettis will fall down at the 41. The interesting choices are going to be when salary cap comes around. What abilities, what cap values are you willing to roll out there? Man. You see how dominant they've been. It's going to be tough. That's, I think that's going to be more. Uh, that's going to be more important than anything. Team building. That's going to be as important as how good you are at the game. So that's going to be Coming another out! skill. This is just our first major of the year. First of four, and here comes a huge fourth and fourteen. And I'm not saying it might be fourth in the game, but it is. But it me. is. Especially versus Jokes run attack, which looks unstoppable right now. Definitely, definitely needs to convert this. Garoppolo in the gun. Oh, he's sending the crib. He's sending everybody. Able to pick it up. Throws it up top oh! in the one-handed grab by Darby. Oh, about me, I'm gonna adjust. That's for sure. Just got a paw on it and brought it in. And that's a turnover. Man, Joke has came close so many times in these tournaments. And it seems like, you know, this scheme right here really might you know, take him all the way. It looks like Joke feels really comfortable on offense and defense. You know, I feel like this might be the one. And Joke, he's one of these guys. He, he, he feels like he's been around forever. He feels like he should be a part of that 30-plus club. He's only 26 years old, and he has all this experience, all this credential. The only thing missing is that belt. <laughs> yeah, I heard he started playing when he was, like, 10 years old competitively, like, in the underground tournaments. I think Madden 07. Yeah, shoot. That's cool. You know, a lot of us are huge football fans. Joke is a gamer first. <laughs> That's how serious he 
Well, Big Madden, Madden. It, it's most guys get into Madden because they're football fans. Choke was the opposite. He got into football because, because, he, was gaming. Madden, yeah. because, because he was a Madden fan. Oh, that's crazy. Too. He's probably like very, one of the few that have stories <laughs> like that one. The only one I've heard of. Yeah. Third and six. You saw Ertz get a route activated here. And there is a sack. Needed it. Fourth and 13. Joke wanted to throw that running back wheel, but Fancy baited it perfectly and uh, made him hesitate for a second. He got that sack. You got to take a sack there. You cannot throw a pick six at this point uh, in the go. tournament. Yeah. With the defense Joke's been playing, he just wants to play mistake free and just let his defense do all the work for him. Under four minutes to go. And, and I'm going to say something that's common sense, but a lot of people don't do this. This is a professional move by Joke. Letting that play clock run all the way down pretty much in this type of situation. On the Xbox, you just hold the A button after you had a kick. You do that on field goals, punts, any kicking situation. Yeah, when you're you're you got a 10-point lead, you want to give your opponent the least amount of time for them to come back. So you got to chew that clock. Trips to the right. He's gonna flip the script. I just don't feel like he's comfortable in this tight formation. He's running the ball. Needs to show us something out of it. Ball to 34. He will hand it off. Coleman. Fletcher Cox is doing work. I don't care if you're passing it, running it. He's all over the place. Yeah, the interior pressure is crazy. Like when when you see that star pop up and you know he's going after you, it really does like kind of scare you. You need, you want to make a quick read. Look at him step up oh, in the pocket and Kittle Ooh. right oh, between the cover two. Bang, bang, Fancy's back in the game. Oh, man, what a way to come back. That might have been a cover three, but he certainly didn't get back there on the high. What a ball game. And another thing I want to call out is here we are. We're going on 11 o'clock here tonight. It's been a long day, and I look behind me, and there's so many competitors that are still here. Checking out the action, uh, even if they don't have a horse in the race, they're just enjoying the high-level mat and the experience. I love it. It's just the love for the game. I'm, I got eliminated earlier in the day, and I was here for 10-plus hours. I, I just like the game. I just love watching competitive Madden. And I will say, Drini, thank goodness, because it's a <laughs> pleasure having you up here at the desk with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Well, thanks for sticking around. There. Drini, RG, Scott Cole with you. James is keeping an eye on all the action, and, of course, We'll be back tomorrow, and we'll get back to the original gun bunch, and Skimbo will join us here at the desk. Mm. It's awesome. Skim for the grand finals. Nice that could, that could be a best of two. Michael Romo Skimbo. You know what? You know that's Tony the, Romo of Madden Common. That's the nice thing about this double elimination, is you want to stay in that winner's bracket because that gives you the opportunity that if you happen to lose one in the final, you still got another chance. Oh, yeah, for sure. That gives you so much relief. You know, you can play kind of loose in the first final, but, you know, if you lose, you obviously have to lock in. 24-21. We're coming up on the two-minute warning. Fancy still does have all three timeouts, and he's going to have to lock up right here. Just two minutes to go in one of these competitors' weekends here at the Madden 20 Classic. I think Fancy's starting to find defense for that run. He's, it's he's, taken a while. Yeah, it took a while, but he's starting to find it. Second 11, last possession, he's you know completely bagged it. But now, you know, he's feeling it. And uh, I feel like the only way Joke's going to win this game is if he passes and gets the first down right here. He's going to have to pass. And if you joke, you really want to close this one out. It's been a long tournament. If he can win this game, he'll be 9-1 and one up until this point in the tournament. Nine wins is a lot of wins. Okay, have to accumulate in a couple days against top-tier competition. I haven't seen many RPOs this week. Yeah. And it was such a, such a long night for the competitors. They played like seven to eight games today each. You know, it was a long night. You do not want to end that off with a loss. <laughs> Third and eight. This is it. They go to Scott. Scott wow. will pick up the first down. That should be that's the it. game and more, and he'll lay down. GG's in the it. chat. And that's beautiful awareness by Joke, knowing that 
going down right there finishes the game instead of you know giving him life trying to go back on offense score seven maybe an onside kick so that's perfect awareness by joke and you know that, that seals the game that's hey, you it joke's gonna be nine and one so far in this tournament it's only game. loss coming to carry q the and the it's quest for his first so belt continues i didn't mean to go offside honestly like i didn't mean to and they're still discussing here right I thought we may uh, have GG's. The game's still over. I don't have any time. I just kneeled out. And they will bend the knee. Great game. And if you're fancy, hold your head up high. I mean, you're Absolutely. a guy. You've had a lot of buzz around you. You came out to arguably the toughest Madden tournament of all time. Hey, that offense is insane. And you put on a show. It's really good. It's really and, good. and he's only going to get mean, better from here. You, you got to expect we'll be seeing a lot more of fans. Yeah, and if you miss it, he's from cloud. McKinney, Texas. I thought you were blind. 45 minutes away class, from here. Like, we're on his home yeah, turf. Definitely. and well, He's so had quite a really run. And if you could see the game before this, where but Fancy like was down four on his, on his opponent's 20 yard line, one second left, he throws a laser to win the game to get uh, here. So, you know, he showed that clutch gene. Like, he was, like you know, he was trying to fight this game. So, you know, yeah, yeah. we see that he like has a lot of heart. Like Who was that against? Uh, like I forgot his name, but he, he yeah, definitely threw a laser. Happened. I was trying to slide wow. and I kept clutch like tapping both clutch gene. And then I was like stuck. He wouldn't slide, so I didn't know what to do. Well, this is going to be it. Hmm. Clock will expire. I Joke will be you were gonna moving fancy. on. Fancy's so, Rogue like, yeah, will end. But you got to tip your cap to, to not only Fancy, but brother. everyone. We had 512 registered players. And we're now down to just a handful left in this tournament. 24-21. Echo Fox Joke will advance.